What's up fellow Earthlings and welcome back to Austin Hustler Hires with some epic hustle ethics. In today's episode, we're going to be going through this huge job that we landed. Freaking awesome. I'll be showing you everything, all the tips and tricks that I used to get this job done in two weeks. And actually it was like a two weeks and a couple of days to tell you the truth. Make sure to stay all the way till the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how much we made in scrap metal, just the scrap metal price at the end of the video. So look forward to that. And just a little heads up, this is slightly longer than most of my videos, but if you stay till the end, I promise it'll be worth it. It's a great video. I worked really hard on it and filmed for a really long time to get this video. I appreciate you guys. Without further ado, let's go. Right now, we are loading up these lockers. There's probably 50, 60, maybe even 100 lockers in here. Most of the stuff we're removing is scrap metal, so it's gonna be a good job. Before we get started, guys, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ain't that right, Richard? That's right. All right, guys, so these are the lockers that we are removing out of here. Gotta get all of these out. Every single one of these is like amazing here. Bada bing, bada boom. Right now I'm just hauling everything I can outside the building because our dumpster and the gentleman's truck that is helping us out today is already full. They're on the way to the scrap metal yard. So I'm just gonna continue hauling as much metal as I can out here. And uh, that way when they get back, we can just load it up. I just wanna introduce my help from today. He follows me on YouTube. It is Ron and he is the owner of 3B Debris Removal. Yeah, look at that logo guys, pretty freaking cool. I just wanted to give him a shout out. Thank you so much for giving me a you know, hand today. We, uh, we had literally Brandon called in today sick throwing up, shitting out his ass so he couldn't come in and Isaac quit, I don't know, last week, last minute without giving me any uh, any notice. So Ron's here to help me out. I appreciate it so much. I got all this scrap metal for you, Ron, to load up in your truck. Made it super easy for you. Do another load. Sweet. Let's get to it. Let's get it. All right, see that? Halfway loaded up already because of my hard work while they were all gone at the scrap yard. All right guys, we got the dumpster coming back from the scrap yard. What did we make at the scrap yard? $218 for a full dumpster load of these cabinets here, guys. So if we get four of these loads today, that'll be $800 in just scrap metal. All right, we've been working our asses off for about four hours now. Uh, Ron is on his last trip to the scrapyard and uh, he's got to go do something. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know where we're at. I got a uh, another buddy of mine to bring one of his dumpsters out here because like I said, we only have one dumpster right now because we're so freaking busy. I actually had to cancel a dumpster rental today. Uh, so it kind of sucks. It was like, you know, either take the dumpster rental worth 325 or take the junk removal worth $23,000. Help boost this video up further in the YouTube algorithm, guys. Give me a thumbs up down below. Minimize your screen, hit the thumbs up, and continue watching. Almost done filling up this dumpster here with garbage. Uh, maybe another quarter load to go in there. So basically, we're just getting all the garbage out of all the cabinets and everything in this room. Hey, what up guys? We are back at this big job. This is day two at the big job. And this is actually two days after uh, the last video you saw. It's really hot out today. Out here in Florida. We're almost out of gas in the truck. And some of you may have heard that we're gonna be struggling with gas here soon. You should have seen it last night. These people were just 
lined up at the gas station getting gas like there's a damn hurricane probably even worse than a hurricane somebody was filmed filling up one of those 100 gallon water containers with so gas that's yeah that's crazy so i sure hope we're not gonna run out of fuel because then we're not gonna be able to do our jobs what is this world coming to we're getting nanotechnology injected to us for vaccines. Our gas is running out. Richard's having a baby. Another baby in a week yeah, or so. <laughs> yeah, like it could happen today. Being as uh, he's the only guy I have right now, we're gonna have to just shut down. But his, his wife said that she wouldn't have the baby until uh, we're done with this big job. So. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kiara. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll update you in just a minute. We're going to go do some more work. Let's go. Right now, we're loading up my wife's dumpster full of smashables for our rage room. So basically, we got some cabinets, some bookshelves, some desks, some tables. And we're just utilizing everything that we find to bring to the rage room. And then people pay us to smash it up. So not only do we get paid to remove this stuff, guys, we also get paid for people to smash it up. Show me your stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check it out guys. We found these pressure gauges brand new with the caps on and everything going on eBay for $200. We got two of them right there. Look guys, it's the original stone wheel of the caveman built. This is where they used to put the needles in these little beads here, guys. And then uh, it, they would spin it and it would smooth all the edges out on the needles. See, like this, they take it and they go. And yeah, the needles in there. Yep, and then it does that. And um, I guess the, uh, the needles. All right, and then the needles get smoothed out. Where they drop down there. Why they drop out of that hole, I have no idea. Well, that's what oh, they used no. to fill it with water. It's water too. That's probably what it was. Yeah, there's a hole there. I bet you what they did is used water in this, right? And then the water drained right down in there. Right down in this hole there. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's water there. That makes sense. So they, what I'm gathering is, oh God, that's gross. So, so fucking Ugh. Yeah, I don't even know what kind of, if that's water. Might be damn <laughs> sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. <laughs> what up guys, it's the next morning. I'm here with Joe, the new guy, and we're loading up a 30 yard dumpster full of scrap metal. This is the other warehouse. We have to get this completely cleared out. Literally everything in here, except for maybe one or two items are going. A lot of it is scrap metal. There is a little bit of trash, but this dumpster has been here for two days already, so I wanna go ahead and get it filled up. We're not even finished with the other building yet. I just wanted to get this dumpster filled up so they can dump it and bring it back for us to fill again. Um, and that way we're, you know, we're at least flipping it pretty quickly for them. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now, guys. We're gonna to get to work. So here is the building, if you've never seen it. Here's the crew for the day. 
we've got this whole side of the building right here and then we've got this whole other side through these flaps we've got all these I'll go ahead and walk over here and I'll show you what we're clearing out by the way all these yellow buckets that's what they uh, they are making here in this building they make needles for all the vaccines that all y'all are getting right now so we're not going to worry about anything in these rooms, but we have to get out this whole um, row of cabinetry right here. So do 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 all those cabinets, and then there's actually another row on that side. I'll walk over there and show you. Got to get this giant box of garbage out of here. Everything here is going. A little bit of stuff in there. All these boxes, this thing, all that garbage in there. We've got all this stuff in here all this stuff we've got some file cabinets in here file cabinets down there we got that wood top I don't know if we're taking that shelf down probably just gonna leave it up um, we have to take this whole cabinetry uh, section out here which majority of it is metal so that's good Okay, that's it. Another day down here at this big job. We just dumped that dumpster so it's empty and ready to go. This one's got a little bit more space in it for garbage. And I have this dumpster on the back of my trailer full of scrap metal. I'm gonna hit the scrap metal yard on the way home, get some cash money for that. And then I'm gonna take a shower at the house and then I'm gonna go to the rage room for the rest of the night. I'll catch you guys when we come back here tomorrow. I am back at this really big property warehouse clean out and we are actually moving on to the second warehouse. And I have some explaining to do because I haven't been here for the last, I don't know, three days working with the boys. And the reason being is because I've been out with my wife doing all the other small jobs that we've had in the system. And it has been a very, very busy, very long couple of weeks. If you don't know, I have the rage room that we operate from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. during the weekdays. So me and my wife have been going out, taking care of all the other small jobs before 5 p.m., going home, getting showers, getting cleaned up, and getting ready to go to the rage room. So that's why I haven't been here with the boys working on this warehouse the last couple of days. They have uh, apparently made a big dent in this place since I have been here last, so we're about to find out. What's that, bro? That's long. What do we got? Aluminum? Wow, I don't know if that's gonna fit. It's literally the length of the dumpster. It's actually longer than the dumpster there. Looks like a bunch of aluminum. Nice. So we've got a Mr. Blue parked here. We've got Mrs. Pink parked there. And we've got a big old metal dumpster here. We've got a green one on our truck full of garbage. And there's my sexy GMC. So we made a nice dent in this place. It's definitely getting cleared out since the last time I was here. The boys are doing a great job. We've got a huge pile of aluminum and stainless steel sitting right here. So that'll be a good little chunk of change at the scrap yard. This aisle is almost completely done. There's a few things like these two things here. Um, we've got this big old refrigerator looking thing, which is a sound boost. So if anybody is interested in buying a sound booth, maybe you're a rapper or someone that just likes to record stuff and have it sound really good, there's a giant sound booth right there. I'll sell it to you. Um, basically all these things with a big yellow piece of paper says do not throw away on it. So we've got these giant, giant electrical engines. I'll bend down over here. Look how big this thing. I mean, just huge, huge electrical engines. Those are not going. Uh, but basically everything in the center here, we're going to get out and then this aisle will be done. So big, big, big step forward on this place. And we're definitely more than halfway done. 
so this aisle there's a few things in the back that need to be removed and uh, this side of the warehouse here there's definitely a good amount that needs to go over there still we've got all these really heavy uh, stainless steel um, machines machinery appliances and then this is the back aisle here which doesn't really look like it's been touched yet so we'll be uh, working on this soon once we finish up the other two aisles and that's where we're at guys we're gonna go ahead and get to work don't want to spend too much time on camera talking I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick hyperlapse of us busting our ass let's go So before we do any further work, I've got to take a number two, a dump, a big old deuce, guys. Headed over to the other building here where there is actually a bathroom. And I think I have to wear a mask, so I'm gonna have to find one of those. I didn't really have any other masks, so I had to wear this one. I gotta take a deuce though. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a sprinkle out here, guys. And our forklift hasn't been here to assist us loading up this container yet so I just got back from the bathroom guess I'm gonna continue loading by hand whatever I can until the forklift gets here look it's raining guys give me a lightning bolt <laughs> yeah <laughs> right, you gotta do it cooler though you gotta do like some kind of move yeah right there <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good top, huh? Captain America! Good old Florida. From sun to rain in just a few minutes. All right, finally the forklift guy is here. He's here. Thank you so much, forklift guy. Thank you. Let's say our prayers. <laughs> well, while he loads up all that heavy stuff with the forklift, I'm gonna sit in here and uh, chat with you guys for a minute. We just finished up that uh, giant air duct job at the hotel, which I have in one of my last videos. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. I'll put a link right here or right here. Excuse me. I'll put that link right up above and you can go check out that video. We removed some giant air ducts from the bottom of a hotel. Pretty cool video. Um, but yeah, you guys can, uh, uh, as you grow as a business, you can land big jobs like this. And um, this is literally one of our biggest jobs that we've had so far. So just uh, pretty cool. I'm glad to have a good team out there um, hustling and working and making noise while I'm recording videos. When you're working on jobs that are kind of overwhelming with a whole bunch of stuff, just remember the golden rules, one thing at a time and you'll be done before you know it. I'm gonna get back to work. Here's a quick hyperlapse of us busting ass.
So what we're doing right now is going through all this aluminum and stainless and kind of separating the clean from the dirty. And a lot of this stainless steel is, uh, or aluminum rather, a lot of this aluminum has, it has these little steel pieces on it. We're just coming over here to this cart and hooking it on like this and yanking it off. So then all the steel is there and we have a nice clean piece of aluminum stacking right there. In case you don't know what clean and dirty aluminum is, Richard's got an explanation for you. Explain. Clean aluminum is aluminum that has nothing on it. Dirty aluminum, which is this is not, has dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just basically taking all the steel screws or whatever, whatever type of screws out of the aluminum to make it clean aluminum, which means nothing on it. Dirty aluminum has other metal or plastic on it. Woo! All right, so we made a big improvement on this building. We made a big dent on this building today, me, Brandon, and Richard. Richard is currently bringing a load of torchable scrap metal down to the yard, and Brandon is headed to the bathroom. So I am just gonna sit here and chill for a minute because majority of the stuff needs two people to uh, lift and move and load into the container. So taking a little break. Okay, so that is it for today, guys. That is it for the day. We just uh, we just got finished filling up halfway the uh, clean aluminum dumpster, and we are headed out. They're gonna go scrap that clean aluminum. And I'm gonna go to the house, I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna get ready to go to the rage room tonight. Cause I gotta be there till 10 o'clock. But uh, usually, if people aren't booking by nine o'clock at the rage room, I'm leaving by nine o'clock. So I'm not staying till 10 o'clock every night, I decided that. Also, we're probably gonna be closing up on Mondays and Tuesdays, unless there is an online booking. So we need to be able to have a little bit more time to kind of work around the house and get stuff done around there. But uh, yeah, that's it for this job for today, guys. I'll, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And hopefully we'll be finished here in a couple of days. Talk to you soon. What up, you guys? I know I haven't been doing much recording on this job of like all the actual work we're doing, getting these containers loaded up with the metal. It's just, it's a lot of work and I just need to get it done and make sure we're, we're working as much as possible and not recording the whole time. Um, and plus, I've just been really running the truck back and forth. Today, uh, this is the next day since the last time you saw me and I've already run uh, two loads. This is my third load on the truck here. The first load we got 600 bucks for, the second load we got 270 bucks for, and I think this load is gonna be like another 500 bucks. Okay, I'm here at the scrap yard, and I am waiting because there are a bunch of people here. So basically I'm waiting to back up to the pile because um, there are so many people here. And I just figured I'd uh, get on here and talk to you a little bit, just chat a little bit about how excited I am to go on a vacation. I am really, really, really excited about going on vacation and uh, spending some time with my family, some good quality time, and just kind of relaxing, not thinking about work at all. Because this is something that everyone needs. Everyone needs to be able to do this. So if you're not taking the time to at least go on a little vacation or a little getaway, you deserve it. If you're out there working, working your butt off, if you're not just at the house collecting a paycheck from the government, you deserve a vacation. But if you're at the house collecting a payment paycheck from the government, then you're on vacation already. So have fun. All right, guys. So here's the pile I just dumped. My, my truck barely wanted to lift this pile up. It was so heavy. All right. Just like I thought, guys, $553.50 for that load. Look at that. So not only are we getting paid to do the job, 
but every load is in between 250 and 600 dollars this load was 553 dollars and that was a total of 7280 pounds at seven dollars and sixty cents up uh, every hundred pounds so pretty good uh, pay out there I'm gonna head back to the uh, job and uh, finish up for the weekend then I'm going on vacation didn't I tell you that was gonna be a great video guys I hope you enjoyed it and here is the part you've been waiting for I have all of my receipts right here scrap metal receipts and I just added them up for a total of four thousand six hundred and twelve dollars guys four thousand six hundred and twelve dollars that I made from scrap metal alone on this job plus we're gonna be getting paid twenty three thousand dollars for the total of the job so that is it those are the numbers I hope you enjoyed it I hope you hit that like button and I hope you subscribed if you haven't already make sure to do that and I will see you next time on Austin Hustler Hires with Epic Hustle Ethics. Peace out.